Prince of Wales, a position he previously held before becoming king. This title was given alongside William's wife Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales. While he has lived his entire life in front of the world, there are still plenty of things about him you most likely do not know. In this video, we are going to take a look at some of them. Let us get started. Prince William is the first future king to be born in a hospital. The kings and queens of the past were mostly conceived at home. But the birth of Prince William set the precedence for the next generation of monarchs. Born on the 21st of June 1982, at the St. Mary's Hospital in London, William broke history, becoming the first future heir to the throne to be born in a hospital. The moment this happened, the status quo changed, and the future generation followed suit. From then onwards, whether it is Prince Harry, or the children of Prince William and Catherine, they were all born in the hospital. The same can be said of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's children. His parents couldn't agree on his name. Following the birth of Prince William, it took quite a while for his parents to decide on which name he was to be given. Why was this? It was because of the conflicting ideas between his parents, Prince Charles and Princess Diana. They were unable to come to an agreement, with Charles in favor of the name Albert, the husband of Queen Victoria. On the other hand, Diana leaned more towards the names Sebastian or Oliver. In the end, they compromised and decided to go with a name completely different from their initial suggestions, which is, William Arthur Philip Lewis Windsor. A week before his name was announced the world after his birth, many referred to him as, Baby Wales, which is quite similar to when his nephew, Archie Harrison, son of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, was called, Baby Sussex for a number of days after his birth, before the revelation of his name to the public. He was a bully in school. In the mid-1980s, when he was a preschool student at Mrs. Minor's Nursery School in London, Prince William is reported to have bullied his schoolmates. It was such that he was referred to by his mates as the Basher for his bullying ways of pushing right up to the front of the line, regardless of where he was at in the beginning, and always getting himself involved in playground fights. When his parents got news of what he was doing at school, they were horrified. Even so, the other parents chose to stay quiet, because, they weren't willing to have any conflict with the future king. Interestingly enough, this is in contrast with his father's own school days, who was instead bullied by his mates in school, and chose not to confront them. Only choosing to write letters to his parents, informing them about the fact, that he was being bullied. It may seem as though, the son was born to pay for the hardship his father passed through. He almost didn't marry Princess Catherine. Yes, the couple eventually got married on the 29th of April 2011, but it wasn't without tribulations. Prince William and Kate met when they were both attending the St. Andrews University. A while after meeting, they started dating, but will later break up in 2007. Reflecting back to what happened after they were married, Prince William said in an interview, it was very much tiring trying to find our own way, and we were growing up. So it was just a bit of space, and it worked out for the better. Princess Catherine will agree, saying, at that time I wasn't very happy about it, but it actually made me a stronger person. She continued, you find out things about yourself that you hadn't realized at first. I think you can get quite consumed by a relationship when you are younger, and I really valued that time for me as well, although I didn't think it at the time. Although the two will get back together after the breakup in 2007, it still took quite a while before Prince William proposed, and they eventually get married in 2011. He made a trade with Prince Harry to get Princess Diana's wedding ring. Wanting to bestow upon his beloved the iconic engagement ring of his mother, after deciding to propose, Prince William made a trade with his younger brother. This is because the engagement ring belonged to Harry at the time. Upon the passing of their mother in 1997, the brothers were taken to their mother's apartment in the Kessington Palace, and were allowed to choose special items that belonged to their mother, as remembrance of her. Harry chose Princess Diana's engagement ring, while William selected her gold Cartier watch. Fast forward many years later, wanting to propose and engage his girlfriend, Kate, in 2010, 
William made a trade with Harry, exchanging the gold watch for the ring. He has a scar on his forehead. It is said that Prince William had an injury that left him with a permanent mark. The Prince of Wales has a long scar on his forehead that extends from near his temple to over his brow. The scar is located near the same area as the fictional character, Harry Potter's famous scar, which has prompted William to call the mark his Harry Potter scar. According to him, sometimes the scar is very noticeable, while at other times, it is quite difficult to notice. I call it my Harry Potter scar because it glows sometimes, and some people notice it, other times they don't notice it at all, he said. He revealed to have gotten the scar when he was playing golf. He said, I got hit by a golf club when I was playing golf with a friend of mine. We were on a putting green and the next thing you know there was a 7 iron, and it came out of nowhere, and it hit me in the head. Despite the scar, the prince makes no attempt trying to hide it, and has several times even pointed it out to his children while visiting a hospital in the past. He worked on becoming a dad. Long before the birth of their children, Prince William worked on himself, so he could be a better father once they start coming. According to reports, he told his friends that, before the birth of his first child, Prince George, he studied the book, Commando Dad, Basic Training, an army-style handbook which aids in raising children. And indeed he became a better father to his children. Fatherhood made him a bit softer according to him, especially after the birth of all three of his children. He said, I never used to get too wound up or worried about things, but now the smallest little things, you well up a little more, you get affected by the sort of things that happen around the world, or whatever, a lot more as a father. You realize how precious life is, and it puts it all in perspective, the idea of not being around to see your children grow up. He wished he did more to save his mother. Despite his young age, Prince William wanted to save his mother, wishing he could have done more to save her. Princess Diana had been hounded by the press, and was unable to get rid of the paparazzi, at the time of her death. Thinking back to what happened, Prince William will lament, saying, I feel very sad, and I still feel very angry, that we were not old enough, to be able to do more to protect her, not wise enough to step in, and do something that could have made things better for her. This is the reason, why he's a huge supporter of mental health initiatives. Because of the experiences, him and his younger brother Harry have been through. He has even encouraged Harry, to get help in dealing with his mother's death. He would describe how he still relives the death of his mother today, saying, anything to do with parent and child, and loss, it is very difficult, it has a big effect on me, it takes me straight back to my emotions, back when my mother died. Describing it he said, it is a pain like no other pain, and doesn't think it will ever fully heal. He has served in the military. Just like it is, and has been with his brother Harry, his father King Charles, grandfather, and generations of royals before them, Prince William had a distinguished military career. As the Flight Lieutenant Wales in the Royal Air Force, he served more than seven years of full-time service, and managed to fly 156 search and rescue missions as a helicopter pilot. Upon his graduation from the Royal Military Academy, he said in a speech, the motto of the Academy is serve to lead. It means placing the interests of your soldiers ahead of the interests of yourself. It means earning their trust and looking out for them. It means being the one who must make tough decisions and lead in the face of adversity. He was an air ambulance pilot. Despite retiring from the military, Prince William didn't give up on being a pilot. Instead, he chose to work in emergency services as an air ambulance helicopter pilot, working alongside paramedics and doctors to save lives. I want at the end of the day to feel like I have made a difference and a contribution, he said in an interview with the BBC. He would however admit that, it wasn't always easy witnessing what